Hi everyone, my name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada and I'm very excited to be with you today. Today we're going to be creating a simple and easy card using the Whale Done Bundle. I'm very excited to show you this card. I've actually used the Designer Series paper in the stamp set and we are going to do a little bit of a technique called collaging and a little bit of rock and roll. But first I want to show you the bundle itself. So we're going to be creating with the Whale Done Bundle which consists of a stamp set and a punch. The Whale Done stamp set is a photo palmer, so it is our jelly-like stamp sets, which are meant for two-step and you can see through. And as you can see, this whale coordinates with the whale punch. Um, it also comes with a pack of designer series paper if you buy this suite. So here's the paper. It's six by six and you get 48 sheets. And let me tell you, this turtle page is my favorite. Oh my God, I can't, I cannot stop using these turtles. I cut them out and use them all week. I have created tons of projects with this and you would be able to see them all on my blog, which is at WW Stamp With Hand. And I've also created classes around this product this month. So I'm excited to share those with you. And you can also find out all about my class product classes, which right now are online at WW Stamp With Hand. And then when you're at the navigating through my blog just go to the top where it says classes and it'll showcase the two classes that I'm featuring this month showcasing the whale done stamp set so let me show you where you can find this cool product in our stamping up catalog so this is our current catalog and you can find it right here on page 94 and 95 which is the whale done suite this suite consists of the stamp set and the the bundle which was a stamp set and punch the whale of a time sequence, which are right here. Oh my gosh, we're gonna use those later. So excited, they're cute, I've used them a lot. The whale of a time designer series paper, which I've already shared with you. The CD embossing folder, and then the sheer ribbon. So let's get started. I'm excited to share this project with you. I consider this to be a simple stamping, somewhat. Um, and the reason why it's called simple stamping because it's just paper, ink, and um, stamps. There's no die cutting, no embellishments on, um, no die cutting, no big shotting or anything like that. So pretty simple. So we're going to be using a pool party card base. And my pool party card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We have a piece of Just Jade cardstock and Just Jade cardstock is actually one of our new in colors for this year's 2020, 2022 release. I love this color and it looks great with Pool Party. I believe it's three by four. Don't worry, I will put all the measurements up for you on this video. And we're gonna be using the designer series paper. I actually cut this and I believe this might be three and a quarter by three and a quarter, but not to worry, worry I will share those measurements with you. So first what I wanted to do is we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So we're going to use Pool Party ink. Nope, yeah, Pool Party ink. And we're going to get the fish stamp because I wanna create those little fishes. And the neat thing about this stamp set, this fish image, is you can either stamp your fish going to the left or you can turn them and stamp them going to the right. How cool is that? So we're gonna have our fish swimming to the left. So what I've done is I put my paper down just as a guide. So I know that I want my fish to go up near the top and I'm just randomly gonna stamp them in a row to make them look like they're a sea of fishes. So you can see and then if I wanted to do like another one up here, I can. And then I'm gonna put some at the bottom. So let's just stamp some of those at the bottom. This set would be great for documenting your summer adventures or if you've gone traveling and done like a sea um, excursion, that would be pretty exciting. Um, all right, so let's put this down. I'm going to get our new stamp and seal. This is our new stamp and seal adhesive. Definitely strong, you don't need a lot. And I'm going to secure that down to my card front, which will be right there. All right, so we're just gonna move that other side and I'm gonna bring this in and I'm actually just gonna bring in a scrap paper just so I can 
put it down on, actually I'm just gonna use my mat. So I am using a paper piercer mat and what I did was I just lined it with grid paper so that I can stamp on top of it and not get ink on the mat because then when you stamp on the mat, you get ink on it, it might get onto your projects. This way it protects it. So what we're gonna do is I've got my collage here. So you can see as it looks very different from my card because I wanted to build upon it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to stamp in Clips of Coral first. The, um, the Coral Reef, oh, so I'm gonna call it the Reef. And um, so when I'm just looking at the stamp, I can see that this is the bottom. So I'm randomly just gonna stamp the Coral Reef in among my scene. So you can see it looks like that. Then we're going to stamp the jellyfish. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna do the jellyfish in Blackberry Bliss, which is a kind of a fun color. So it's like a purpley, but a rich purpley. And I just got ink on my fingers, so I wanna make sure I don't get it on my card. All right, so we're going to just put one there and maybe one down here. I like to do things in groups of twos, or actually groups of threes, depending on what it is. It could be a group of two. So let me just close that ink pad so we don't put our fingers in it. All right, now we're gonna get some seahorses, and we're going to stamp those in clips of coral. So I'm gonna bring that back in. And we're gonna put one here, and we're gonna put one up here, and we're gonna put one down here and just kind of like in there. Mm -hmm. We'll put one up top here somewhere. Maybe over here to the side, like he's coming into the scene. All right, and then we're going to stamp the fishes again. So let me just clean my stamp. We're gonna stamp our fishes in Granny Apple Green. And as you can tell, this time I'm gonna have my fishes swimming to the right. So I'm just gonna put some down here and up here. And I think that's how I like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to just move this off to the side. We're going to stamp the greeting. So the greeting I'm using says, my love for you is bigger than the ocean. How cute is that? You could use this for an anniversary card. You could use this for a congrats card. Um, even just wanna tell your family that you love them. All right, so I'm just going to put my down there. I'm gonna close that up. So I did use Blackberry Bliss once again. And I'm actually just going to come in here and trim it. Like that. All right. Now let's do a little bit of rock and rolling with our turtle. So I'm gonna get the turtle image, which is right here. If you're a fan of turtles, then you definitely will like this stamp set. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create it's called a rock and roll technique, and what it is is creating that two-tone on your turtle. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our turtle in granny apple green. Okay, so I've stamped my turtle in granny apple green. As you can see, it's right there. And then let me just close my ink pad. Then I'm gonna come in and bring the Just Jade ink pad in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to roll the stamp. So what I wanna do is I wanna roll the stamp along the edges, which is going to create that two-tone on our turtle. So it's kind of called like a rock and roll. So I'm literally just rolling it in, and then we're gonna put it down. And as you can see, I have that two different tones on my turtle. Now we're just going to fussy cut my turtle out. I've heard some tips if you don't, like not a fussy cutter, is that you should just turn your paper and let your scissors guide from there. Okay. 
I could see this, this, you could also use this set for baby. Like if you had baby, you know, you see baby turtles on little baby outfits. That would be super cute. A little baby card with it. Uh, definitely kids' birthdays would be great. Um, if you had a person who loved different sea animals, this would be perfect. All right. So let's bring our card back in. I'm going to move this out of the way. So there's our card. We're going to put down our seam. And we're going to use our seal again. I have not had any problems with my seal. I actually really like it and need to order more. Definitely don't go through it as much as you would if you were using our other adhesive. I'm going to put down our greeting, which is my love is bigger than you than the ocean. Just like that. And then we're going to pop up our turtle with our dimensionals. So these are our dimensionals. And I think I just need one. And put him right there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some sequins. And I'm going to show you what I use just to find it in my tool bin here on my desk. All right, so this is our take a pick tool, which is perfect for adding sequins. Um, what I like to do is I like to pour a little bit in the lid and make sure you don't tip that or spill it because that would be quite the mess. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pick up, I want about three of these, I'm gonna call them seashells, kind of seashell um, sequences. And we're just gonna put them down here in the bottom. And you can either put them up, whatever, you can add a little bit of sparkle. So then what I do is once I have that, I definitely make sure I close this lid. And as you can see, I already spilled some because I don't wanna accidentally tip it over and spill it on my desk. That would be a huge mess. So once I know where I want them, what I do is I take this end, so it has like the putty end, and I pick up the seashell, and I'm gonna put it on my glue dot, just like that, and then I put it onto my paper. And that actually came off, so I'm just gonna glue it down. So you might actually wanna use the pick a tool at the other end and just pick it up. My, There we go. All right, so let's do this again. We're going to pick that down and then I just pick it up with the pick a tool, add it. You know, you kind of always see these little seashells floating around the bottom of the sea. Um, so exciting. And there you go. So there is the turtle that. All right, let me just put this away. I always have a habit of putting my tools away so I don't touch or accidentally stick my finger in ink because I've done that before. So there you go. There is our quick and easy collage stamping, simple stamping, um, hashtag simple stamping because simple stamping is considered card, cards, ink, and paper. So we've done that today. We've added just a little bit of designer series paper in it. And it's simple, easy that you could give to one of your friends or family members. We're just going to add an inside. I should have just so put that in here. Um, I don't uh, add greetings right away to my inside cards just because I, sometimes I sell, I sell my cards. So if somebody's looking for it, they tend to like blank cards inside. So I just leave them blank till I'm ready to give it to someone, then I stamp the inside. So thank you so much for joining me today. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, which is Stamp with Anne. So please follow me on my YouTube channel so you can see when all my videos will be posted. My goal is to actually do videos on Sunday and post them on Sundays for you so you can watch for that. So this week, um, I've been doing on my blog, which is W. Uh, WW Stamp with Anne. I do product of the highway, high product of the week, highlight of the week, and well done with the product of the week. I just want to show you some other cards that I did, just so you can see. Um, this was another card, and you will find all this card information on my blog, WW Stamp with Anne. I also did this one, so cute. So there's that seabed embossing folder I was telling you about, and the pool party ribbon, the sheer ribbon. You can also find that card information on my blog 
And then here's one that I did. I haven't actually posted this one, but um, I thought you're kind of a big deal. And here is the whale that was punched out from the designer series paper or AKA pattern paper using our whale punch. So just a couple more cards. Like I said, um, I've used this product a lot last week. It was on my desk all week and I couldn't stop using it. I absolutely love it and would highly recommend adding it to your collection if you are loving that sea under sea world. So you're, you, thank you so much for joining me. You can head over to my blog at WW Stamp with Anne. I will have the um, ingredients, the supply list, the card, finished cards for you, and all the measurements will be posted on this video. So once again, thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next week when I showcase the product of the week highlight. Thanks everyone, have a great day.